Has anyone seen the new Avatar film? I want to watch it so bad. It's said to have taken 12 years to create. I'm broke, so I just turned to something less expensive. One more. The first come to mind is Leviathan, because it has water in it. I don't know the plot of the Avatar, so. What if it just starts raining one day and it never stops? Do you know what happened when the oceans consumed the world? What if the creatures from the ocean's depths appeared and want to eat human like the popcorn you eat watching that fucking Avatar film? How would human civilization progress? How would human life continue in this world full of water? Yeah, I know it sounds like the plot of Waterworld, but it's not, it's the story of Leviathan. Leviathan, a story by Lee Gyun Tok. The story revolves around their main character, Bota, a kid in the middle of this endless seas, with his dad and his baby sister, Lita. They would scavenge the ocean floor for supplies, food, scraps, anything that could be used. They do this during the day because at night, Leviathans come out. Sea creature that looked like the last photo of Pescatarian seas before they convert to veganism. So, what are you thinking when you look at this? How would human fight creatures that appear to hate themselves? So, we have this so-called harpoonist. Harpoonists are warriors who protect the towns, as explained in chapter 2. Essentially, they are heroes or soldiers. The first harpoonist we met is Kana. She's the first person we, we met who isn't from this family. Kani is the quiet, white-haired badass, no-nonsense waifu, you know, uh, the generic kind. Actually, Kana wears nothing. It's her battle suit. At first, I thought it's just, a, just for fan service, but then it hit me. They fight fish in water, and it's a swimsuit, so it's perfect ex explanation for having a battle suit. That's just a swimsuit with weapons. Because any other clothes would just get wet. So Kana is from the Union of Busan. Busan is a city in Korea. Basically, it has a large port. It was said to be even richer than Seoul. So the Union of Busan is this crazy com contraption that barely passes as a boat. It's more like a, a moving island that has it, its own politics and currency. It, was, it has its own system of living, and its first line of defense is the harpoonist. A harpoonist is identifiable because they, have, they are marked with a tattoo and a star under it. A star represents 100 monsters killed, Kana has 3 stars, and Father has 6 stars. So that's, a, that's the story's mystery. Who's dad? And by the way, dad died, so... You've got to read it, read the story, and experience it for yourself. The art is interesting. It's like a dark and blue painting. It feels like a painting because, but that it's wet and dirty and never dries. It's the same feeling as reading or watching a steampunk story, but with wet oil, blood, and salt water. For example, the first time we got into the harbor of Busan, you could see how, how much water affected the ship. You can see how old it is, you can see people's clothes all worn out because they are scraps from the sea. I just love the artwork of this. It really sets the tone of the story. Of course, there are some drawbacks. The chapters are really short and sometimes I don't know why people do shit like that or how the fuck that happened. but. Overall, it's just a fan read. If you made it this far, thank you and please like and subscribe.